welcome here today as we celebrate the marriage of Marisa and Rick. On behalf of the bride and groom, I want to thank you for being here today despite all the challenges that have been imposed on us lately. My name is Doug and I was given the honor of marrying two of my very best friends. We'll see if you're still happy with that decision in the next 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> Meese and Rick were friends throughout college and eventually remained friends post-grad until Meese was finally single. We were sitting at Hampton Beach, very classy once again, in 2012 when we graduated, and Meese casually brought up the idea of her and Rick dating. Rick, I was your biggest hype man. Why wouldn't she date you? Besides the fact that like it was perfect for me because it's like my two best friends, but still. Um, a guy who shared her love of travel, sports, food, and music, and someone who could make her fall over laughing, and someone who literally moved mountains to make her smile. Little did I know, the two of them were already getting flirty, but Mies wanted to be sure of it, so, <laughs> so their relationship in, began in Mies and Rick. I've never met two people more perfect for each other. You support each other. Damn. <laughs> I couldn't find an internship anywhere in Boston. I was just applying to every major city in the country, and lo and behold, Denver, Colorado popped, and I got an opportunity to, get, to have an accounting job there, and it was awesome, I was gonna have an apartment down the street from them, always be able to see them. One thing led to another, they asked, do I wanna live with them? And I was like, yeah, that's awesome. But so, Ricky was trying to make sure that I understood that they lived in a studio apartment. It was just going over my head. It wasn't until, for those of you who know, until I showed up to the apartment, if you've seen it, they, a studio apartment means there's no walls, which I didn't know. And, and I kind of felt bad, because I've never met Marisa before. So for her and the cat, and I'm a very loud person, I felt bad for both of them. You both support each other no matter what, and are each other's true best friends, Rick. You accepted Princess Butters as your own. <laughs> and you have become a, her loving father. <laughs> and the two of you are seriously the perfect example of true love in someone's soulmate. I love you two so much, and I'm so happy to have been your best friend <laughs> throughout college, post-college, all of that. I'm so incredibly happy to be standing up to the two, here with the two of you, raising a toast to the two most amazing people I know. So let's all raise a glass to me, Rick, but before we do... Congratulations, I love you too. I felt like I was intruding onto their life, but... You know, Ricky, when he was playing video games upstairs, it would just be me and Marisa downstairs watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians or playing Pokemon and, you know, I really got to know her as a person, you know, in, in the kind heart that she has and, you know, you meet either of her parents for five minutes, you know exactly where she got it from and, you know, I, I didn't know if she was going to like me or if I'm intruding and, you know, she couldn't do anything more than just make me feel welcome 100% of the time. And, you know, the other thing when you live with two people like that, I, I'm, I'm basically a part of their relationship. If they ever argued or had disagreements like any other relationship, I was there in the middle of it. You know, I tried to go to the gym or go to baseball games alone, give them some alone time, but the small things to do to make each other laugh or, or we're in a store, oh, she would love this, I'm gonna get this for her, it's a little $2 thing, or, or Marisa would think of something that, and it, it, they would surprise me. I can only imagine being in love with someone and them consistently surprising me. It, it is amazing, you know, and I, I was so happy I was able to get a front seat on that ride. I told you guys, thank you guys so much everything you guys did, letting me live with you guys and how much that helped me in my life. But honestly, being a front seat and seeing what an awesome relationship you guys have, the communication, how much you guys really love each other and the patience I learned, you know, being with you guys and, and everything, it, it means a lot to me. I just wanna say thank you and I love you both. Everyone has advice for newlyweds, Marisa and Rick. I offer these good wishes to you on this special day. May your life together be blessed with prosperity and good health. May you always share open and honest communication between each other. May you respect each other's individual talents and gifts and give full support to each other's professional and personal pursuits. May you cherish the home and family you will create together. May all the years to come be filled with moments to celebrate and renew your love. May, you, may your love be a lifelong source of excitement, contentment, affection, respect, and devotion for one another. And so now, 
By the power invested in me, by the state of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.